Hello and welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to host the dashboard we fully completed in the last video, and we'll do it completely free. By following this tutorial, you can also host your own dashboard. If you're interested in getting the source code for this dashboard with awesome features and UI, or if you need a Discord bot, you can visit my Patreon shop. There, you'll find different types of bots, dashboards, and memberships available for just $5 and $10. By joining, you'll get access to source code for 200 plus commands and systems. So, let's start today's video. So, first of all, we open Visual Studio, and here we need to make some changes. First, we drag and drop the index.js file into the root folder. After that, in the root folder, we'll create a file called versal.json. In this file, we'll specify a few things, so I'll paste the code here. We're simply pointing to our main file, and now we need to make some changes in the index.js file. First, we'll define the path here, and then make a few adjustments by writing them like this. We'll ensure the other paths are set correctly as well, like this. Now, we'll scroll down and export the app because we're hosting it on Versal, so Versal can use it. That's it. Next, we'll also make some changes according to our host URL. For that, we need to host it on Versal first, then we'll push it from GitHub. So, let's go to GitHub and create a new repository. I'll simply name it Dashboard, keep it private, and create it. After that, install GitHub Desktop to manage our repository easily. Now I'll open GitHub Desktop and clone the repository we created. Then, I'll open it in Visual Studio. So right now you can see that this is completely empty, so for that, we'll go into our dashboard folder, copy all the files and folders from there, and paste them here. Now, we'll go over to GitHub Desktop, and you can see that a lot of changes are showing up here. And yes, if I show you here, don't forget to create a .gitignore file and add the node underscore modules folder to it to ignore it. Alright, now I'll go to GitHub Desktop, and you can write anything here. I'll simply write dashboard commit and commit it. And now I'll click here to publish the branch, and after that, if you go to GitHub and refresh, you can see that all your code has appeared here. And now we need to go to Versal, so you simply need to go to Versal, log in with your GitHub account, and then all your repositories should show up here. I'll just click on the import button for my dashboard repository, and here I'll give the project a name. Then, for the root directory, for example, if it's in a folder like src, you would specify that here. My root is directly in the main folder, so I'll leave it as is. Next, click on environment variables, and import the project to Versal. Then, copy all the variables from your .n file and paste them here. I'll do that quickly, and after that, just click on deploy. And then it will take a little time for Versal to set everything up, and finally, you can see that your dashboard is now hosted. Here, you can change a few things. For example, you see an option to add a domain. If you have a domain, you can connect it here to make it look more professional. But since I'm teaching you how to do it for free, we'll use the domain that Versal provides. So I'll click on Continue to Dashboard, and this is the domain that Versal has provided. You can see it looks a bit strange, so you could connect your own domain. You can easily get one for $10 to $15 per year, but if I click on this domain here, you can see our full dashboard displaying properly, with both dark and light themes working. However, we haven't updated the URL, so if we try to log in, it won't redirect properly. For that, let's go into Visual Studio Code. Now that we know our domain name, I'll copy it from here and go into the code to change the OAuth redirect URL accordingly. After that, we also need to go to our Discord developer portal, go to the OAuth tab, and update our redirect URL there as well. I'll copy it and update the URL for our login button in index.html. Finally, I'll go to GitHub Desktop to push these changes, then go to Versal, and click on Updated to deploy. Now, if I show you the dashboard, you'll see that logging in is working, and everything is functioning as expected. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe.